Iron Deficiency Anemia in Women What it is and how it affects your health? Iron deficiency anemia is a frequent reason for consultation in primary care consultations. In this video, Marta goes to Dr. Arnal's office because she has symptoms compatible with anemia. Doctor, lately I have been feeling very tired, and it is difficult for me to concentrate on my work. I've also noticed that my skin is paler than normal. I'm worried because these symptoms don't go away and I don't know what's wrong with me. I understand your concerns. It could be iron deficiency anemia, which is a common type of anemia caused by a lack of iron in the body. But first we need to review your analytics to confirm this. A oh. Your blood test results show that you have iron deficiency anemia. Hemoglobin is low. MCV is low, so your red blood cells are small. Iron and ferritin levels are also low. Don't worry, it is a treatable condition and I will explain the causes and the appropriate treatment. So what causes iron deficiency in my body? There are several reasons why you may have an iron deficiency. Some of the most common causes include First cause Blood loss. Women of reproductive age may experience iron deficiency due to menstruation. It can also be caused by ulcers, hemorrhoids, or the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Second cause. Iron deficient diet. A diet that lacks iron-rich foods, such as red meats, legumes, and dark green leafy vegetables, can contribute to iron deficiency. Third cause. Some medical conditions such as celiac disease or gastric surgeries can affect the body's ability to absorb iron at the intestinal level. Fourth cause, the pregnancy. An increased iron requirement during pregnancy can lead to iron deficiency in pregnant women. I understand, so what is the treatment for iron deficiency anemia? The main treatment is to replenish iron stores in your body. You should take iron supplements as directed. In addition, it is necessary to make changes to the diet to include foods rich in iron and also vitamin C, which helps the absorption of iron in the intestine. It is also important to identify and treat the underlying cause of iron deficiency if possible. In more severe cases, blood transfusions or iron injections may be necessary. Let's do more tests. Thank you very much, Dr. Arnold. Don't hesitate to come back if you have any questions or if your symptoms don't improve. Together we will overcome iron deficiency anemia. If you want to know more about analytical alterations, treatment possibilities, and how to take iron, don't forget to follow our channel. If you have any questions, leave your message in the comments and I will be happy to answer you.